Saluto a tutti! Hi everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about pre four trends as shown on Vogue. Bizarrement, je ne suis tombée sur cet article hier. The article was posted on January the 9th. But for some reason, I only saw it yesterday. And the first thing I can say is it doesn't look new. <laughs> Un paradoxe pour des tendances censées être nouvelles. Ma prima, chiariamo qualcosa. What is pre fall? Pre fall collections are shown from November before the fall winter collections. We're only days away from fashion month. Fall winter 2023-2024. On est à quelques jours donc de ce mois de la mode. And pre fall collections are said to be more commercial than traditional collections. Now with all these fashion seasons, ils sont étrangement ou pas d'ailleurs au nombre de quatre, comme les saisons traditionnelles. Quattro stagioni nella moda. So pre-fall, fall, winter, cruise or resort, and spring summer. So my immediate reaction was, what's new? Without further ado, let's jump right into these trends and let's roast and rent. On va aller passer sur les grilles, ces différentes tendances. Se sono veramente tendenze perché quello bisognerà a vedere. I usually get more inspiration from pre-fall and cruise collections than other collections because I find them more wearable. Are they meant to be? Elles sont censées être inspirantes, ça n'est pas un hasard. Elles sont censées aussi donner la couleur pour les collections plus traditionnelles, automne-hiver. Mais là, je suis restée sur ma fin. The first trend is suit yourself or tailoring. Well, tailoring for fall, Breaking. To paraphrase Miranda, vous avez compris pour paraphraser Miranda dans Le Diable s'habille en Prada, je taille un costume à la tendance tailleur. J'en porte un aujourd'hui, mais ça ne m'empêche pas d'être un peu cynique. I'm wearing a double breasted blazer and Bermuda pants. But yeah, tailoring isn't anything new. It's been around for a lot of seasons and it's not tailored to my fashion cravings at the moment. Désolé, fallait que je fasse ce petit jeu de mots. Pun intended. Per me questa tendenza è più un classico che è sempre presente. It's an evergreen. It's a permatrend. Si on peut parler de tendance à proprement parler. So you do have a lot of nice options. I'm gonna show you mine today. Et la bonne nouvelle, c'est que ce soit en version carbone ou en version crème, comme ce gilet, You're bound to have a few pieces already in your wardrobe. You can wear right now. Avete già tutto. Non c'è bisogno di comprare nulla. Trend number two is kind of similar. And I'm wearing two trends in one. Comme vous pouvez le voir, moi je porte les deux premières tendances. It's all about short suits. And once again, I have the matching shorts to this vest, which is great. Il est précisé que la tendance concerne aussi bien les hommes que les femmes. So why two trends? It's more, the first two trends are actually more like just a single one. Déjà, première remarque. La prima cosa que posso dire, perché farne due quando il secondo assomiglia tantissimo al primo? Vabbè, lasciamo perdere. But the third trend, Vogue, please. Molta bella. Is it a typo? I don't think so. I don't know. But for your information, petit cours de langue improvisé en italien, piccola lezione. Non si dice molta, ma molto bella. Why molto and not molta? Molto isn't an adjective, but an adverb. So it doesn't agree with the noun. Petite parenthèse linguistique refermée. Back to the trends. So number three is molto bella. Molto bella, like breezy looks that seemed Destined for the Italian Riviera. Je n'y trouve pas vraiment caractéristique. The selection of styles for this trend is kind of very varied. It's difficult to pinpoint specific traits. I would say midi skirts maybe with cropped tops, light colors. Non so se si possa dire veramente che questi look sono rappresentativi dello stile Riviera Italiano. I can see statement dots on one of the sets which I love. But apart from that, again, trend number four, I'm gonna say that in French, couture allure. La couture allure, c'est quoi? C'est le style de Vogue dans les années 1950, justement. Very 50s glamorous. It's more about evening looks. Au risque de me répéter, je ne suis pas un oiseau de nuit. Comme vous le savez déjà, donc, 
Je pense que je vais carrément zapper cette tendance. Si avez un vestitino così nel vostro guardaroba, tanto meglio per voi. I can see a set from Carolina Herrera though that is more wearable and it doesn't look like an evening look. We have an asymmetrical black dress too. But yeah, uh, overall I'm not impressed because I'm not inspired. With a nice panel word, with not your fashion history lessons, wear a peplum. Je n'ai pas grand chose de cette tendance, I don't have a lot of things. I have this sweater maybe, but that's pretty much it. This H&M sweater and the peplum detailing is to be found more on vests and jackets. Non ho nulla che assomigli veramente a questa tendenza come presentato sul sito, a parte questo maglione. Donc, à part ce pull, on passe. Next trend, JNTO squat. Here it's all about denim in generous proportions. There are two things I can say about this trend. One, I don't wear a lot of denim and jeans in general. And two, I don't like white legged jeans. Ce que j'aurais de plus approchant, je vais vous le montrer, c'est d'abord ce très très vieux jean Lois. The wash is kind of similar. And or these H&M cargo jeans. Ho oh, altri pai di jeans un po' larghi, ma che assomigliano di meno. So all I can say is I'm not thrilled about this trend. Another trend I don't like at all, but I can see some options and Things I could wear from my wardrobe once over is all about wearing skirts over pants because pants are huge. Donc ils ont ressuscité littéralement, c'est le mot qu'emploie Vogue, tendance de la jupe ou de la robe sur le pantalon. I don't like it because I don't think it's really flattering. It adds bulk, ça ajoute trop de volume, là où il n'y a pas lieu d'en avoir justement. But there's one look from Chanel Prefall that I could try and recreate with this jacket and this skirt over these lace pants. Ecco, un po' di confusione, spero che capite l'idea. Moi je me comprends, mais qui sait, peut-être vais-je trouver une façon qui me paraît plus esthétique de porter cette tendance, auquel cas. Vous ne manquerez pas de le savoir sur mon Instagram. Moi, je me suis fait un petit yogiti gingembre citron pour me réchauffer. And it says, people who love, forgive. Ma foi, sage parole. Et là, ça fume. Du coup, je vais poser la tasse ailleurs et la laisser infuser ailleurs. Next, we have plush strokes. Alors, pour cette tendance, j'ai un manteau tout trouvé en capote Tokyo da Nida Kayeme. A gorgeous red color. This trend is about fuzzy statement coats and investment pieces. Alors, je confirme en termes d'investissement, this coat I've had for years. Et un peu cappuccetto rosso. It gives little red Riding Hood vibes, but why not? J'aime bien le côté un peu chaperon rouge, justement. Je le garde un peu parce que j'ai froid, du coup. On parle pre-fall collections. Bon, ben voilà, là, on est quand même en plein hiver. Hein. On est le 25 janvier, il fait froid. So, plush strokes, I'm in. J'ai déjà ce qu'il faut. Très bien, tout va bien. The next trend is a little less winter friendly, sweet and sexy no things. Wearing lingerie like pieces, so this trend has been going on for years. Be it in winter or summer, it's a year round trend, an evergreen. Là encore, je peine à me souvenir d'une saison où vraiment il n'y avait aucune pièce d'inspiration lingerie. Ça doit remonter un petit moment quand même. Normalement, abbiamo tutte un qualcosina che faccia pensare a questa tendenza. Like this Topshop slip dress I've had for years. It's not for a solid decade. Je pense que ça fait plus de 10 ans que je l'ai, justement. Donc, vous voyez, rien de nouveau, là encore. The next trend, Cloud9, is kind of part of the same trend, but in white. Et là, je regrette la petite robe Zara de la collection Cruise que je vous avais montré. It's not on sale. I didn't buy it because I found it too expensive. This dress would be perfectly on trend. I'm gonna look for another one, but I returned it, so I don't have it. Che volete? No, la trovavo più seriamente la trovavo troppo cara per quello che era, quindi l'ho ritornata e quindi 
non ce n'ho e adesso mi tolgo il cappotto di cappuccetto rosso et je vais m'attaquer à mon yogi tea voilà donc cette tendance pour le moment au moins je passe, je n'ai pas exactement ce qu'il faut à part à part peut-être cette robe crochet finalement qui résumerait les deux tendances because you do have a pop of white here but that's pretty much it I have white lace skirts but not dresses on ne peut pas tout avoir but let's be clear I do love the sheer trend pun intended voilà, ce jeu de mots étant fait, on va conclure avec la dernière tendance, The Last Trend, Parting Shot. It's all about back details. And for this trend, right now, I can't think of any piece I have that could do the trick. Là encore, c'est une tendance que je ne vais pas pouvoir porter immédiatement, sauf à tomber sur une pépite dans mon placard. Forse troverò qualcosa che assomigli. Chi lo sa, ma per il momento non mi viene in mente qualcosa che ho e che assomiglia a questo. Uh, even because this is not the easiest trend to wear, because I mean you're not supposed to wear any bras with all the tops and dresses. Ça suppose déjà en effet qu'on ne porte pas de soutien-gorge, puisque l'intérêt c'est de montrer le dos et la tobi che è messo in valore con questa tendenza quindi bisogna dimenticarsi del reggiseno it's not really wearable so i'm not really interested so in short what can i say i wasn't really impressed or inspired for that matter this is all i can say maybe it's the tighter schedule the fast paced collections but i don't think these trends are hot Oh, hot new. Peut-être est-ce que cela tient au rythme effréné auquel se succèdent les collections, je ne sais pas. Mais ce que freine l'article, ce sont mes ardeurs à explorer ces tendances. So boring or wearable, you get to choose. A dirlo in poche parole, non sono stata molto impressionata da queste tendenze o dall'article. So boring or wearable, you get to choose. A vous de voir. See you in the next one. Vi prego una buona giornata. Baji et Shalad Evilan.